Unprecedented and truly astonishing video footage depicts the precise moment when a group of orcas hunted down a humpback whale calf, devouring its tongue in an event that defies expectations. Although adult humpback whales generally face minimal threats from orcas and have been observed safeguarding other species from killer whales, the scenario changes for young humpback calves, which become susceptible to attacks by transient killer whales. Blue whale calves are reliant on their mother for food for the first year of their life. These calves appear to be among the preferred prey of orcas, with instances of orcas consuming only the tongue and leaving the remaining carcass as a meal for scavengers. In this instance, the hunt stretched over an hour, with the mother humpback's efforts to repel the killer whales proving futile. Once the orcas triumphed, an awe-inspiring sight unfolded. The largest male in the pod spent more than an hour encircling the boat, proudly cradling the young whale in its mouth, almost as if showcasing their conquest. Whale watchers in the Pacific Ocean near San Diego were treated to an astonishing sight as they captured on camera a killer whale holding a dolphin in its mouth, a remarkable encounter that left them thoroughly amazed. Contrary to their common name, killer whales, or orcas, are not whales at all. Surprisingly, they are the largest members of the dolphin family. Their predatory nature extends even to their smaller dolphin relatives, as they skillfully pursue and consume them without hesitation. No ocean inhabitant is exempt from the reach of killer whales. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Except for humans, these predators reign supreme at the very top of the marine food chain. Amazing footage captures a pod of orcas launching a fierce attack on a gray whale. Gray whales can attain lengths of up to 50 feet and weigh as much as 40 tons. Nonetheless, transient killer whales target a considerably smaller and younger whale, one that seeks shelter beside its mother. Through strategic and brutal tactics, the orcas manage to launch a deadly assault, successfully killing the young whale. Indeed, orcas have earned the moniker, killer whales for a reason. While the great white shark is renowned as a fearsome marine predator, even they prove to be no match for the power of orcas. While orcas typically don't target sharks as prey, their prowess as efficient hunters is remarkable. Operating in packs, they execute highly coordinated attacks with impressive skill and cunning, often outmaneuvering and defeating some of the ocean's top predators. Over the past two decades, there have been instances where orcas were observed attacking great white sharks. What adds intrigue to these recent killings is the impeccable precision with which the orcas seem to have punctured the shark's bodies. In the case of two carcasses found in Gansby, sizable holes were located beneath their pectoral fins, strategically positioned for easy extraction of their livers. Shark livers, abundant in oil and fats, serve as a source of energy and buoyancy. While direct observations of orcas extracting great white shark livers are lacking, researchers who conducted autopsies on the shark carcasses proposed that the energy-dense fats present in these organs would offer substantial benefits to the large orcas. Nature's cruelty can be staggering, and the remarkable finesse displayed by these colossal creatures is awe-inspiring. Their almost surgical precision in extracting the squalene-rich liver from white sharks, only to leave behind the lifeless carcass, is truly mind-blowing. Orcas, also known as killer whales, stand as the largest members of the dolphin family and rank among the planet's most formidable predators. Their instantly recognizable appearance is defined by the striking black and white contrast. Highly intelligent and social creatures, orcas employ an extensive array of communicative sounds. Each pod boasts distinct vocalizations recognizable to its members, even from afar. Through echolocation, they communicate and hunt by emitting sounds that travel underwater, bouncing back when they encounter objects, thus disclosing crucial information about location, size, and shape. Orcas are versatile creatures, ranging from polar regions to equatorial waters, although they prefer colder coastal habitats. As apex predators, their diet is incredibly varied, including fish, penguins, seals, sea lions, and even whales, using their formidable teeth, some up to four inches long. Their hunting tactics include seizing seals from ice and consuming fish, squid, and seabirds as well. Orcas are formidable hunters, operating in pods of up to 40 individuals. These pods, both resident and transient, exhibit unique prey preferences and tactics. 
Resident orcas favor fish, while transient ones target marine mammals. Despite differences, all pods employ cooperative hunting techniques reminiscent of wolf packs. Orcas are protective of their young, often with adolescent females assisting in their care. Orcas give birth every 3 to 10 years, following a 17-month pregnancy. They have single babies that nurse for about 2 years. While the bond between mother and juvenile typically weakens, some juveniles stay with their birth pod for life. Orcas are intelligent, social mammals that have been featured in marine park shows for entertainment. Yet, it's evident that captivity doesn't suit them well and doesn't lead to their well-being. In their natural habitat, orcas have evolved to cover up to 40 miles daily, foraging and exercising. They dive between 100 to 500 feet multiple times a day. Whether born in the wild or captivity, all orcas share an innate drive to swim and dive extensively. Artificial enclosures in captivity fail to offer such a range, leading to boredom and stress. Captive orcas have exhibited stereotypic behavior, repetitive actions like self-mutilation and swaying, linked to stress and unsuitable habitats. Such behaviors have been noted in scientific research on orcas since the late 1980s. In the wild, orcas live in tight-knit family groups that share a sophisticated, unique culture passed down through generations. However, in captivity, these intelligent creatures are placed in artificial social groups. The unsettling practice of transferring captive-born orcas between facilities shatters their social bonds and amplifies the stress caused by the inability to escape conflicts or engage in their natural swimming behaviors. Back in 2013, the documentary film Blackfish vividly exposed the emotional toll of captivity, narrating the tragic tale of Tilikum, a wild-caught orca responsible for the deaths of two trainers at SeaWorld Orlando. Through heartfelt accounts from ex -Sea world trainers and experts in cetacean behavior, the documentary illustrated that Tilikum's distress within captivity directly triggered his aggression towards humans. In our modern understanding, orcas are recognized as formidable, apex predators that dominate the ocean's food hierarchy, preying on a range of marine life, including whales, sharks, dolphins, and fish. Interestingly, a diminutive ancient dolphin species could potentially trace its roots back as an early precursor to the mighty killer whale, shedding light on their evolutionary history. Scientists unearthed a fossil of a dolphin dating back 2 to 5 million years, named Orsinus cytoniensis. This ancient specimen is believed to share kinship with the present-day orcas that roam our oceans, providing intriguing insights into the lineage of these magnificent creatures. Through an examination of an incomplete skull, researchers observed distinct disparities between the fossilized dolphin and its contemporary counterpart. Notably, the ancient specimen boasted a greater number of teeth in each jaw compared to today's orcas. In terms of size, Orsinus cytoniensis reached a maximum length of approximately 13 feet, significantly dwarfed by the modern killer whales that can stretch up to 26 feet in length. While our understanding of this ancient creature remains limited, it is conceivable that Orsinus cytoniensis could represent a transitional species bridging the gap between early dolphins and the contemporary killer whales we are familiar with today. If the ancient dolphin managed to outcompete the terrifying super predator, it might have aided the orca's rise to the top of the food chain, where it reigns unchallenged today. Certain scientists also entertain the notion that resource competition with these creatures could have played a role in the decline of Megalodon, the colossal 50-foot-long shark that met its extinction around 2.6 million years ago. What's your most astonishing marine life encounter or fact? Share your thoughts below. Drop a like and hit subscribe to stay connected, there's a sea of excitement awaiting you.